Hey, this is Nigel Watch Vlog, and my name is Ewase. Please kindly click on the subscribe button and don't forget to share, like, drop your comments, and also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, my people, I just see me, I can tell them, I see Nigel on cast. It's not, a, it's, not, it's not like it's a new story, really. it's not like it's a new news. We all know C Nigel on cast, but I just saw a video clip and it's rather unfortunate that people, anybody, can just open their mouth and talk about the president. I always say our president, but at this point, I rather just say the president. Um, he has made himself a laughing stock, and uh, it's embarrassing. It's a disgrace. To, <laughs> it's, a, it's a disgrace to us. Cause you guys are gonna see why I'm saying all this, and you understand. I love Nigeria. I love Nigeria, but damn, oh my, we don't cast. I know you guys want to see this video. You might have seen it, but maybe you've not seen it yet. But I'm gonna show you. But first, we made a mistake by making. Let me see now. We make him the president anyway. But let's just say now us. It's us. What am I saying? We're the reason he's the president. I was a, that's, that was a big mistake and I feel we're about to make that same mistake we're about to make the same mistake all over again and we're gonna suffer we've already started seeing posters we've already started seeing the visits to the north they've been dressing like the northerners they're giving out free food look at Ghana Ghana is coming for us, Nigeria. Uh, anyway, Twitter moved their headquarters to Ghana. Under our own very nose, they moved headquarters in, uh, to Ghana. Okay, uh, I want to show you guys the clip that is making me go all like this. Because, wow. This meeting, the government of the discussions at this meeting was about moving the U.S. Africa Command to Africa. <laughs> it was about establishing a U.S. military base in Africa. That's what they were discussing. And I was so embarrassed. I felt so disgraced by the Nigerian head of state and the kinds of things he said. I am embarrassed by Buhari. Listen. When Buhari was campaigning to replace uh, Good Luck Jonathan, what did he tell the people of Nigeria? That he is a former general, an astute general. And that if he got power, he will be able to stop the operations of Boko Haram. Is that not the promise he made? Now the same Buhari is standing around and saying, hey, I raised my hand, we can't fight Boko Haram. America, come and fight Boko Haram for us. He should be leaving office. He should be leaving office. He has not fulfilled his promise to the Nigerian people. In any case, if Nigeria, a giant in Africa, Nigeria is a giant in Africa, if Nigeria cannot deal with Boko Haram and has to go and beg Anthony Blinken to bring soldiers into, into Lagos and Abuja and other places to fight Boko Haram, then well, what would other countries do? What would Gambia do and so on? If it's to castle crypto, Bitcoin, open their eye if it's to block our sim because we didn't register or link our, our numbers to NIN. aha that's where they will become an open eye for us but look at how they're dragging us look at how other countries are mocking us it's rather heartbreaking and disappointing to know that we have nothing to brag about we have nothing to boast about we have nothing to be proud about as nigerians Insecurity, poverty, bad roads, bad leadership. 
our educational system i can't even go there it's nothing to write home about it's not really proud about being in nigeria right now we need to change something has to be done we need to wake up look for someone who is productive look for someone who is positive look for someone who's going to take us to that promised land or we're going to sit back and fold our arms while another person comes to rip us apart take all that is left from us some time ago it was in the early 2000s if you all remember the u.s president was visiting senegal and to my surprise and horror, the U.S. Embassy actually issued a statement saying that African leaders who wanted photo opportunity with their president, they should go to Senegal. And to my horror, Af African leaders started jumping onto aircrafts to go and take photographs with U.S. president in, in, in Dakar. Look at your leaders! Photo opportunity. Our leaders are looking for photo opportunity. Look at our leaders acting like babies, like day nursery boys and girls. So embarrassing. Africa will determine its own friends. Africa will determine its own path to development. Africa will take instructions from nobody. Africa will take instructions from nobody about who our friends should be and who our friends should not be. Africa will take no instructions from nobody about what our development pattern should be. And the African leaders who want to act as house niggers must understand that the African people will not allow that to happen. I think the time has come for us to fight. Fight for our rights, fight for our lives, fight for what we deserve. Pick up your voter's card. We can do this. We can do this. We need leaders in Africa who have a vision. A vision of prosperity for the African people. A vision which deepens the independence of the African continent. A vision which unites the African continent in a struggle against poverty. In a struggle against underdevelopment. In a struggle for prosperity, leaders who are lying prostrate before the forces of imperialism, begging for soldiers to come and deal with insurgencies in their countries and so on, are no leaders at all. And they will be rejected by the masses of Africa. They will be replaced by the forces in Africa, the forward looking forces in Africa, who want to build an Africa without a bomb. An Africa without a foreign military base. An Africa capable of standing on its own amongst the continents of this world. I'm embarrassed by Buhari. The, the Buhari administration has dragged Nigeria to nothing. Nothing. Now look at just just watch. An Africa capable of standing on its own amongst the continents of this world. I'm embarrassed by Buhari. I and it's not like what he said is a lie. He's spitting facts. Buhari made promises. He sounded enticing, he sounded genuine, he sounded believable. But look at where we are today. He thought it was so easy. Or he just allowing it to happen. I don't know. He wished to carry hand for help at this point. Cause... Before I leave, I'll, have, I'll ask this question. Is Nigeria still the giant of Africa? Drop your comments, like, repost, subscribe to the channel, and follow us across other social media platforms. This is Niger Watch Blog. My name is Elasin.